deal them capacitors and inductors okay so you know what is capacitor okay capacitor we have two metallic plates okay and, and between these two metallic plate whenever i apply voltage okay because since they are metals okay they have a c of electron they have a large number of free electrons so as soon as i apply a voltage the negative electrons are uh, uh, are are attracted towards positive terminal of battery and similarly you have negative charge on other plate okay so in this way we can call capacitor is an energy storage device okay so capacitor is a energy storage device energy energy or storage device that means it meant is it maintains oh, or stores so it stores stores or maintains maintains charge imbalance imbalance okay so total charge is zero but they are able to maintain charge okay on plates charge imbalance on the uh, plate okay so it is a parallel parallel plate capacitor so all of you know that the c for parallel plate capacitor is given by e a by d okay so e is the permittivity of medium filled between the plates permittivity of medium a is the cross section area cross section area of plates area of plate okay and d is the distance between 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 these plates okay so so if we increase the the cross section area we can increase the capacitance value okay capacitance generally me measure this in farads so if you increase the a you can store more charge you can store more energy similarly if you can increase the decrease the distance between the plates or increase the permittivity of medium you can increase the c okay and we know the energy storage and capacitor is given by w let me write by w okay w is given by half cv square if i know capacitance of the system or device and if i know how much voltage i'm applying how much voltage it can tolerate depending on its dielectric constant okay so i can know how much energy it can store in the capacitor now we also know that relation between charge and charge voltage and uh, capacitance so we know the q is given by cv okay now if i want current how much current is passing through capacitor i can simply differentiate this like so i is equal to dq by dt this will give me what c dv by dt okay so this equation suggests that if you want current to pass through a capacitor you should have a ac source okay if the source is dc then the variation of v with t will not be there we will be simply constant this v is applied voltage so applied voltage need to need to be your ac okay at least time varying so ac means it should time it should vary with time so there should be some dvdt okay and dvdt is called scan rate dv it is called scan rate okay scan rate means how voltage is varying with time so that variation should be there so if variation is there i can i can calculate the current but if this is a dc source okay if it is a dc source then i will be zero so i can say for dc source okay for dc circuits or dc sources okay dc sources capacitor 
behaves like open circuit okay so current is zero current is zero means we, we cannot pass if it is circuit there is no current so cannot cannot pass through capacitor so capacitor basically is an open circuit okay so if you apply voltage it will charge for some time momentarily and once and after that it will block the current okay in the in the circuit where, where it is there so wherever circuit is there in dc circuit we, we we have to make it open so this is the one thing with capacitor second thing is there so we, this, this is the formula important so i can find the current through capacitor if i know the dv by dt okay now second thing is that capacitor is a has some memory okay so cap, capacitor is a basically memory device okay so capacitor is memory device memory device ka matlab kya hai suppose i want to calculate the voltage across capacitor so i can use this equation and i can write dv by dt okay equals to i by c and if i want v okay dv dv will be simply i by c dt now if i am charging capacitor okay up to voltage v so suppose i am starting with time zero okay time zero to t so i can find what is the voltage across the capacitor okay but since capacitor has a memory okay so when i start charging the capacitor it may have some previous voltage present okay are you getting what i'm saying so <clears throat> i'm charging for i to t but initially if it has it has a voltage it has some store charge storage then we cannot start with this limit with zero because it has a previous some charge charge stage okay previously some voltage so now whatever voltage extra i am charging that is adding to, to that extra previously present voltage okay so suppose now i'm saying so there may be initially some voltage v not on the capacitor so this limit i have to start from minus infinite okay minus infinite means okay now suppose i open this integration i can write i can break this limit okay so i can write minus infinite to zero okay i so i by c i by c dt okay plus i by c okay i can write zero to now t t dt okay so this makes sure that uh, we can uh, we can include the uh, the uh, we can we can include the initial state of capacitor so now if i uh, uh, write this equation how can i how can i solve this for uh, this one okay of course i is not constant okay sorry i is not constant i is not constant so uh, so it is a memory device can you just repeat how uh, it is sir? जीरो t is equals to zero minus q is t is equal to minus infinite okay now i can write this formula as 1 by c t 0 to t i dt okay plus this is my q not say in at t is equal to charge present is q not so q not by c and charge present at time infinite that i can take zero okay so what i'm trying to say that this i can take zero so at infinite time okay at minus infinite time so i suppose i am starting experiment at t is equal to zero i am charging capacitor so but initially some has it has some charge q not present when i am starting charging so that charge when i started the experiment when i started charging the capacitor before that initial stage okay before t is equal to zero time what was the charge present in the capacitor that also i have to uh, uh, consider in the picture okay of course at t is equal to minus infinite we can take charge zero because sometime uh, whenever we have brought the capacitor 
okay and that is a new capacitor we have brought the market okay we have not used a circuit that is t infinite okay so there will be some time where you have not used that capacitor in the in the circuit so we can take that charge equal to zero okay and that t is equal to zero i am starting the experiment and before t is equal to zero if some charge is present i am taking uh, that charge in tar charge in consideration so now i can what i can write i can write this equation i can uh, one minute okay let me complete okay so i can what i can write i can write one upon c zero to t i dt okay and this q not c zero one you can write voltage at t is equal to zero okay so this is the voltage we have to consider when we are starting we are when we starting charging the capacitor okay so this is initial voltage so this way is it is called memory device memory device meant it has as if it is charge storage it have may have some initial voltage okay ha ab boliye sir t minus infinity ko humne liya limit mein lekin baad mein humne wo zero hi kiya na sir हाँ तो क्या हो गया तो टी इनफाइनेट पे कभी ना कभी तो चार्ज जीरो रहा होगा ना कैपेसिटर पे तो यू व्हेन यू ब्रेक व्हेन यू फर्स्ट टाइम ब्रिंग दिस कैपेसिटर फ्रॉम मार्केट स्टिल यू हैव नॉट यूज्ड द सर्किट दैट टाइम आई कैन कंसीडर इनफाइनेट टाइम सो सम टाइम मे बी देयर वेयर वेयर इज द व्हेन इट वाज नॉट चार्ज एंड देन यू आर जस्ट यू स्टार्टिंग चार्जेस एंड देन यू मूव्ड ओके एंड लेटर यू अगेन कम बैक एंड यू अगेन स्टार्ट चार्जिंग so if if there is a charge present okay that charge you have to consider that means the initial voltage of the capacitor you need to consider now it may be zero it may be given the question that when you start charging the capacitor the initial voltage is zero if initial voltage is zero then you can keep voltage at t is equal to zero okay And if it is not given zero then whatever voltage will be given that you need to add in this charging are you getting up this point सर ये तो हम मतलब एट टी इक्वल्स टू जीरो जब हमने स्टार्ट किया चार्जिंग तो तब भी हम क्यू नो मतलब सम चार्ज कंसीडर कर सकते हैं जीरो से लेके टी तक की हाँ तो जीरो से तो हमने फिर माइनस इनफिनिटी को क्यों ऐड किया जीरो से टाइम पे हम चार्ज कर रहे हैं करंट फ्लो कर रहे हैं कैपेसिटर में व्हेन एवर वी फ्लो करंट इन द कैपेसिटर ओके इट्स वोल्टेज विल चेंज वोल्टेज विल इंक्रीज व्हिच वी आर चार्जिंग द कैपेसिटर वी आर चार्जिंग द कैपेसिटर फॉर आई वी आर फ्लोइंग करंट आई फॉर डीटी टाइम But so now you get voltage. But initially some voltage is present that also need to we need to add. Okay, so so that's why I started limit with minus infinite, not zero, because I have to counter previous 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 states also. Okay, so what I've done minus infinite to zero. You can write t zero time. Okay, if if not in t zero time. And then if you are starting experiment t zero t zero time, then you can put limit minus infinite to t zero time, and then t zero to t. Okay, so t zero time I am taking as a zero when I am I am starting charging. I am taking that time as a t is equal to zero. If this point point is not clear, please let me know. Is this point clear? Sir, second me, when we have done, so we have charged the formula used here. So, as the first term, we have. क्लियर ऑलरेडी present then you need to consider that voltage also na yes okay so that so initial so that means it has a some memory you need to consider this v t is equal that the memory means that that means only okay so <coughs> so these are two formulas okay very important formulas taking capacitor you need to uh, 
use those formula okay let me show the application of those two formula okay so i have been given a v versus t profile okay so i am applying a ramp of voltage across a capacitor okay so this is say time zero this is time one second this is time two second time is in second and this is my five volts okay this five this voltage i'm applying a capacitor whose value is given as one microfarad okay so i've been given c a capacitor of one microfarad okay and across that capacitor i am say some voltage vt okay i am applying this this applied so find the current through the capacitance okay so if i want to find the current through capacitance okay the formula is c dv by dt isn't it okay now i should know what is dv by dt for this uh, uh, this profile okay so let me write the equation for v so if i if i want v i can write v v vt is simply this slope of this graph is what 5 0 minus 5 so i can write the equation for vt is 5t and since starting from origin the so c is 0 it is a y plus mx plus c type of equation okay so y plus so i can write from 0 to t one second the vt is 5t okay now similarly if i want to write for uh, equation for this line okay so this uh, this this is also a straight line with negative slope and slope value is again same it's coming from 5 to 0 the slope is minus minus 5 so you can write the equation for this line you can write vt is equals to what minus 5t and plus some constant c isn't it so if i want constant value c okay what i can write at t is equal to 0 okay t is equal to 2 it should be zero so zero minus five into two plus c so this gives me c value 10 okay so now my equation become for minus 5t plus 10 when my time is from one time is time from one to two one to two second okay so these are the equations i know now once i know the equation i can find the dvdt for this time periods are you getting how, how I'm writing this one? Yes. Sir. Have you understood these equations? Okay. Na? So these are yes, sir. y equal to mx plus c this is y equal to mx minus c y equal to minus mx or plus c. Okay. So the value is minus 5t plus 10. So you can, you can write, you can note the points, you can find the slope and applying these boundary conditions. Okay you can get the equation of line so now if you want dv by dt okay so dv by dt will be simply 5 constant from time 0 to 1 and dv by dt okay dv by dt will be your minus 5 okay from time 1 to t 2 second okay now if i want the current okay current is simply i cv dt so if I have to multiply by C, C is one microfarad. So my I will be what? Five microampere, five into this one, one microfarad. Okay. So this will be microampere. Okay. Five ampere for period zero to T one second. And this will be minus five into 10 to the power minus ampere from one to T two second. Okay. So if I ask you to plot the current for this given voltage profile, you can simply plot the current. Okay. Current is simply constant. Current is minus plus five. Okay. I microampere. Okay. From zero to one second. And, and this is one, two, two. Okay. This is minus five micro ampere current so this is the this way this is given you can find this one if dc dc is given then simply current is zero because dv by dt is zero so the graph is between volt, uh, current uh, and time uh, now current and time okay 
So this is time in second. So this way you can calculate okay the IT curve. Let me show some more problems. Okay. Shall I erase this one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now the second part is okay. Again, I'm giving you the ramp. Now you need to calculate. Okay. Now what I have done? Say this is my equation. So zero this is one second. This is a two second. This is a three second. And this is a four second. T is in second. The T in seconds. Okay. And this is given you just VT. Okay. And the maximum value here is say 50 volts. Okay. And here negative also it is minus 50 volts. Okay. So I need to current current and the capacitor this time is given C equals to 200 microfarad. Now same question. So calculate dv by dt and in order to calculate dv by dt, I need first, I have to write this in equation times uh, in the form of equation a function v versus t. So if I want to write as a function of v t, what I can write from t is equals to 0 to 1, what I can, what I can write? v t equals to 50 t. Very good. Okay. Now how many interval I need to take? How many? 4 or 2 or 3? How many interval should I take? Three interval because three are sufficient. Inter three are sufficient because this interval this is the same slope, same function. Okay. So V T this has a time period from one to three seconds. Okay. So what should I write the equation here? How much I should take the slope? Slope is same. Slope is same minus. 50 t okay plus say a constant c now this equation satisfied these points so if i write t is equal to two seconds if i write t is equal to two okay then this becomes to zero okay so minus 100 and c should be 100 so this equation is this correct now you can satisfy you can check now it t is equal to one. You put one one year minus fifty plus hundred. Hundred are sir. Or two pay two pay yes zero are chahiye zero are hai. Three pay kya chahiye? It should come minus fifty. It's coming minus fifty. So that equation is correct. Okay. Now next for V T. Sir, why we multiply with two? Okay. This is again. Which way? Minus. Here I, I am checking whether this equation whether this equation is correct or not correct. Okay. So if you want to check the equations, the equation is what equation is like minus MX plus C type. Okay. The slope is 50. Okay. So this become 50 T. The equation become Y equals to minus 50 T plus C. I don't know this C. So how can I calculate to C putting these points in this equation? So my VT is zero at T is equal to two second. Okay. So put two, two, T is equal to two here and he put here zero here. So if you put zero here, this become minus how much? Uh, 100 and plus C. So C value become how much? 100? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's, so that's why I, I'm constant value. I'm calculating. I'm calculating the function here. If you can do directly, you can do direct. You can do direct also. Okay. Because current I need dv by dt. Okay. Now for third, 
Third, this is a positive slope is going up. So again, this is 50 t. Okay, you can see 50 and zero. The slope is 50 t. Zero minus minus 50. 50 t. And how much should I write here? How much should I write here? 200. Constant value. Minus 100. 200, hmm. sir. Minus 200, very good. Because t is equal to 4, it should become 0. Or you can check 3 equal to 3, it should become minus 50. If you have 3 here, there should be mi minus 200. And this will satisfy all these points. It should come 3, you have minus 50. Okay, so this equation is correct. So I can write from 3 to 4 seconds. Okay, now you know this Vt. Okay, you can find dv by dt. So dv by dt will come again 50. Okay, minus 50. And then it will come again plus 50. This will become time 0 to t. 1 second. 1 to t. 3 second. And 3 to t. 4 second time. And if I want current, okay, current will be c dv dt. Okay. So I need to multiply 200 microfarad. Okay. So this become how much? 2,000. Two okay. 2, 2,000. Okay. And 250. So, and this is micro microfarad. So if I solve this one, how much it comes? 10 raised to minus 2. Okay. So I can write 3, 3, 10. Okay. So I can write this is a 10 milliampere. Can I write like this 10 milliampere? 0 to t 1. Okay. So minus 10 milliampere for time 1 to t 3 second. Okay. And this again 10 milliampere for 3 to t for 4. So now if I want to so plot. This I 10 is coming by Q equals to CV. I equal to C by I. What is I? C dv by dt. Oh, you know, C, you know, multiply. Okay. So now if you want to plot the I versus T curve. Okay. So you have constant curve up to here. You have 10 milliampere. Then from here to here, you have minus from this is one, this is two times this is three, you have minus 10 milliampere. Okay. And then again, for, for three to four, you again have this 10 milliampere. So this is I versus T curve. So whenever you have been given V as a function of time, you can calculate the current i i equal to cv dv by dt okay like this so if in doubt please ask okay so i given you two equation for capacitor in fact three equation i equal to cv dv dt and one equation for voltage Okay, integrate from 0 to 1 by C, 0 to T, I D T plus V T 0. And the third equation is for energy W equal to half C V square. Okay, so we have learned how to use the first equation. Okay, now let me <coughs> show you how to the second formula which we learned, how that third formula can be applied or is applicable in questions. Now, <coughs> I have given you IT profile. Okay. Now I'm giving you VT profile. Okay. So V, so the question is there. Where say I given you uh, VT. Now I'll give I how I vary with time. So suppose I is varying with time like this. Okay. And this value is 100 milliampere. 100 milliampere. Okay. So this time is say two seconds okay and after two it is constant three seconds four seconds 
five seconds. Okay, so T is in seconds. Now my volt current is changing like this. So in question they are asking, so you have been given a capacitor through which this current is flowing, and capacitor is one millifarad. So he says calculate the voltage across capacitor. Calculate the voltage across capacitor. Okay, at T equals to two millisecond. Okay. This time is in millisecond. Okay. Two millisecond and T equals to five milliseconds. So after charging at two millisecond, what is the voltage? And at five millisecond, what is the voltage? Okay. So question is clear. Question is clear or not? So see, this is two, four, say six. ये की बात है. So current is initial period current is increasing and then current become constant after two millisecond. And I need to find the voltage across two cap capacitor at two millisecond and T equal to five millisecond. Now I need to use the formula. What is the formula I should use? Okay, so I should use the formula. I want voltage at T equals to two millisecond. Okay, so I should write the formula one by C zero to T I D T is a millisecond. Okay, you should remember millisecond I D T plus V equals to T is equals to zero. Okay, now I should know what is the V at T is equal to zero, and that they have given zero in this question. Okay, so in this question, this is given zero. So they say initially capacitor is uncharged. So initially, capacitor is uncharged. Okay. So initially, capacitor is uncharged. That I can take V V at T is equal to zero. That is V not. Okay, equals to zero. So from graph the... also we can predict, na? At time t equals to no, zero, capacity no, no. is zero. Graph, graph. How can you predict? Graph. It only says from now t equal to zero. You are charging. It cannot tell before t equal to zero what is the situation. Whether capacitor was charged or uncharged initially, that we cannot predict. Okay, that boundary will be given in the question. Initial. What is the initial voltage is there? Okay, so like like I show you now. So now this is V equal to T is equal to zero. So I can use this equation. So one by C. Okay. Now can you tell me what is the equation for this current? What should I write for current? Five T. Hmm. How can I write five five T? Five T or fifty T? Fifty T. Fifty T because hundred is two second. Sorry. I, I, I is equal to fifty T. Okay. So zero to two millisecond. I can write fifty T DT. Okay. So I can write one by C is ten millifarad. Ten millifarad. Fifty is constant. Okay. And T T will be T square by two. T square by two. Zero to five two milliseconds. Okay, so I can write what fifty into ten is to power minus four, and here what is coming t square two you have to put t millisecond. This become one by two is one by two is there. You can bring it out. Okay, one by two, and then t square that means four millisecond. That means t square of millisecond ten is to power minus six, and then you put zero you get zero. So you got how much? You got here one. You got two here. Okay, ten to the power five cancel. This become ten to the power minus two, and you get here hundred. Okay, so how much? How much it should come? How much should come? So four six. So minus two. Minus two. Zero. 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 Z
आ रहा कि कमिंग और हाउ मच इज कमिंग सी का वैल्यू वन मिली फेरेट था ना सी का वैल्यू वन हाँ वन मिली फेरेट आई पुट टेन जस्ट वन फिल मिली फेरेट सॉरी सो यू हैव ओनली यू हैव वन मिली फेरेट मींस ओनली टेन डिस्प्ले माइनस थ्री ओके टेन डिस्प्ले माइनस थ्री सो यू हैव थ्री इयर एंड टू टू इयर ओके सो दिस हंड्रेड मिली वोल्ट्स हाउ मच कम्स इट हंड्रेड सर Two minus one, so how much come? Fifty slope. Okay. Yes, sir. So this equation, this equation become how much? This equation become I equals to fifty t plus t. Now since it's starting from zero, so this is like a y equal to mx equation. Okay, passing from G, from origin, so I can write just simply fifty t. Correct. Okay. So I got now this is hundred milli hundred milli volt for t is equal to two second. Okay. Now I want to cal calculate t is equal to five milli second. What is the voltage? So what should I write now? What is the what what is the limit I should put? What is the limit I should put now? Zero to five. Two to five. Two to five. Okay, because zero to zero to three all already we have considered. So I have yes. to write two to five plus what should I write? Hundred milli. Yeah, hundred milli volt. Because already present now this when I am starting this current already some voltage present. Okay, so so that become my initial initial for me. I can directly do for zero to five also. Okay, but at this I want to show this like this. Okay, so now my so now so zero to t is zero to zero to Two is hundred millisecond, and then again you are charging. Okay. Okay. So now this hundred millivolt you need to add here. Hundred millivolt, very good. Okay. So again you put here one upon. Okay, one upon one millifarad. Okay, zero to five. Now current is constant, hundred milliampere. So you can simply put a current value, hundred milli, hundred milliampere can come out. Okay, and I D T. Okay, D T is from five to two, five minus two D T times three seconds plus hundred milliwatt. Okay, so how much it become? Is this cancel? So this become how much? Three hundred, three hundred milliwatt should come, na? Let me one one minute. Okay, so time is millisecond. Time is millisecond. So whatever time will come here, that is comes no ten to the power minus three. Okay, so this. So this current, okay. So this is three hundred millivolt plus hundred millivolt, okay. So you you told it four hundred millivolt, okay. So this is answer. So now you understood how to use this formula. Any doubt in this question? सर ये हंड्रेड मिली वोल्ट किसी भी से प्लस प्लस कैसे किया तो पहले ये जब यहाँ से जाता चार्ज किया तो तो वोल्टेज कितना आया था टी इक्वल टू सेकंड पे वोल्टेज कितना था फिफ्टी हम्म वोल्टेज अभी निकाला था ना टी इक्वल टू टू मिली सेकंड पे कितना निकाला था हम्म Yes, now we calculate it. This is T equal to five five millisecond. This time, earlier, we have calculated T equal to two millisecond. We have calculated the voltage. Now, after T is calculated, we T two is charged. So, our here voltage is how much? It came. At this point, at this second, two second voltage is how much? Hundred. So, you can you can write this as a one upon hundred millivolt. Okay. 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 Hundred millivolt.
we already present at two millisecond. दो से स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं दो पे पहले से क्या कितना प्रेजेंट है वो भी ऐड करना पड़ेगा सो so, वो उसकी वैल्यू क्या है दिस वैल्यू इज व्हाट हंड्रेड मिली वोल्ट जिस नाउ वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड क्लियर यस भी जो भी व्हेन एवर यू अप्लाई इक्वेशन यू यू हैव टू सी वन बाय सी टी इज इक्वल टू टी जीरो टू टी आई डी टी okay then this time at this time what is the uh, at what voltage present here if it is zero you put zero here if an in initial time you put initial time any any initial time here okay so this was the use of this equation now let me show how to uh, use capacitor in circuit Okay, so now I have been given. Say, anybody's mic is on. Please switch off your mic. So say this is my circuit. Three kilo. Okay. Then I have here two kilo. Okay. Then here I have five kilo. And here I have one more capacitor here. This capacitors here, and one capacitors here. Okay, and the value is two microfarad, and this value is also two microfarad. Both have both has two microfarad. Okay, so put the value. Just give me. So let me check the values. What is the capacitance value? So two millifarad and four millifarad. Okay, two millifarad. This is two millifarad, okay. and this is four millifarad. Okay. So it says find the energy stored in capacitor one and two. We need to find the one. Say this is C one. This is C two. So you need to find the energy stored in the capacitor that is C one. V V one square. And half C two V two square. Calculate how it will come. How it will come? Tell me. so this is a ac source or dc source should be ac hmm dc 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 okay so dc is there for dc capacitor will act as a what open circuit or for open, open closed circuit open circuit open sir so you make it open okay so say this is open as you say, as soon as you apply current this will charge and then after there some time it will start blocking current Because it will charge now, it will not allow current because this current and this current current due to capacitor they will become equal, opposite equal. So this will be like an open circuit. Similarly, this will also be like an open circuit. So your capacitor has become open circuit. Now you need to find out the what is voltage here. What is the voltage here? If you know the voltage, you can find you know C. You can find the energy store. So what is V one and What is V two? Okay. Now you know enough kinetic analysis. You can find what is the voltage across this one and voltage across this one. So now current is starting like this. Okay. Because this is open, so no current will go here. Similarly, here also no current will go. Okay. So current will start here, and simply current will go here. Is that? Let me check the circuit. One capacitor is there. Okay, there is one more resistance. Okay, I need to add four it kilo. Across two kilo ohm, also it may go no current. From where? Current. Ah. Current. So current will, current will start from here, 
current will not go here, current will go here, then current will go here, but here is open, so no current will go here, and again current will go here. Okay. Now I need to find what is the voltage V1. So this voltage V1 is simply this voltage. Okay. So if you know the current in the circuit, you can find what is the uh, voltage. Okay. So here current division is taking place. So current is going here. Then current is going here, current is going here. So this, these two are in series. And this series combination is now parallel to this one, isn't it? So you can apply current division. If this point is clear, 60 milliampere current is coming. This is open, so no current will go here. Current will go here and current will go here. It will not go here, it will come simply here. Now these two are in series. And this and, and this series combination is parallel to this one. So I can apply current division. I need the current in this branch. So if I apply current division, okay, the required current would say this I going here, I will be what? I will be current division 60 milliampere total current. Okay, into resistance of opposite branch 3 kilo ohm. Okay, upon Total resistance, total resistance two, four, six, nine kilo ohm. Okay, this cancel, this cancel one, three, this cancel two. So I is twenty milliampere. Okay, now so I need this voltage. So twenty milliampere current is flowing here. That means this voltage V one. Voltage V one become what? How much? I into R. So twenty milliampere into 2 kilo ohm this cancel so this become what 40 40 40 volts okay 40 volts or 4 volts okay. so 40 volts yes, the question, this is 6 milliampere yeah so just it will be if you 6 milliampere okay this simply it has become you have 2 milliampere, okay, this become 60 milliampere become too high, so 6 milliampere, so this comes to come 4 volt, okay, this is 4 volt, remove 1 0, so this become your 4 volt, okay, now tell me how, what is the value of V2, tell me what is the value of V2 now. Hmm. This I U uh, this you have calculated equivalent equivalent resistance, right? Yeah. See, I am applying current division. Okay. I am applying current division. I you should listen to what I'm saying. And you are doing second, I think second, third time. So this is a one resistance here, and this is a series. Okay. This four is parallel to this one. Okay. Yes, so, so I'm applying current division in parallel, parallel, yeah. circuits, parallel circuits. Okay. So V1 is now, so I know the current in this, this branch. Now I want V2. This, how much is V2 here? So no current is flowing here. Okay. No current is flowing near means no drop is here. So this point and this point are same. So whatever voltage will come here, that will be same voltage here. Isn't it? Okay. So V2 will be what? V2 will be simply current is same <coughs> 2 milliampere okay and then you need to multiply by resistance 4 kilo ohm so this become your 8 v2 become your 8 volt okay so now you know v1 you know v2 okay you can calculate the energy calculate the energy and tell me what is coming see you know 2 millifarad and 4 millifarad. So give me the energy value. How can you calculate energy? So, pehle ye batao ki ye wala samajh mein aaya ki nahi aaya. Or should I explain one time more? Clear, sir. Yes, okay. sir. This voltage, you know, this voltage, you know. Okay. Now you have V1, 4 volt, V2, 8 volts. Now you need to calculate the energy stored in this capacitor. 
so w1 is equals to half c v1 square w2 is equal to half c v2 square okay this was 2 millifarad this was 4 millifarad so 1 into 2 millifarad into v1 was 2 square okay here you have half into 4 millifarad and v2 is 4 square so this how much is coming 2 to cancel 2 to 4 to 4 millijoule okay it was 4 and hmm? uh, v1 was 4, four. and this is become 16 millijoule okay and here how much 8 it was 8 so this become 2 64 128 so this become 128 millijoule okay so this is the correct answer so i am giving you one homework similar type of question okay you know to send me the i am also giving uh, you to send me after the class so now what i am putting instead of here i am putting 50 volt source into instead of current i am using a 50 volt okay i have here say one kilo ohm resistance okay then i have this 20 20 microfarad okay then i have one more capacitor here of 30 microfarad okay and there we have 6 kilo ohm okay and then we have here 3 kilo ohm okay now you need to find under dc condition find the energy stored it stored in each capacitor okay under dc conditions find the energy stored in each capacitor So just you have to remember in DC condition, after your capacitor eh, that behaves like a open circuit. Okay. Now let me show when capacitor and series. Shall I erase this one question? is so, a homework so yes. i'm erasing this one okay. now let me capacitor in series okay capacitors series To say capacitor n capacitors and series is c1 c2 c3 c4 and there we have c n these capacitors are in series so what is their equivalent capacitor okay so when they are series say i am applying a voltage v here so because they are series so voltage will divide okay Okay, in this loop, so say this is voltage V1, V2, V3, V4, Vn. Okay, so if I apply KVL in this loop, apply 
KVL, okay. You reflect KVL, what will become? You might V becomes V1 plus V2 plus V3, okay, plus V4 as Vn, okay. Now, how can you calculate V1, V2? So I can write V1 equals to what? I C D T, okay. So V1, I can write I1, C1 because the, they are series, so say they are flowing same current, okay. Or even you can say the capacitor, the same charge is flowing. You can say same charge, same current is flowing or same charge is flowing Q across this branch. So you can take either charge or you can take current. C is equal to Q upon V. That formula can be also used. Eh? Which one? C is equal to Q upon V. Yes, that formula also. Either you use this formula, I, C, D, T and V1 at T is equal to 0. Okay, either you use this this formula for, for for each one, or either what you can use simply you can use Q. Okay, because in, whenever the cap capacitor instead of con considering current, you consider charge Q. So say same charge Q is moving here, so I can write what V one equal to what I can write V equal to Q upon C one. Okay, Q upon C two plus Q upon C three, and that becomes Q upon C n. Okay, so if I calculate now equivalent capacitance, so I can write V equals to Q upon 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3, 1 by Cn. Okay, so this becomes V and this becomes C effect C resultant. What do you say? What do you call C effective? Okay. So you write C effective or C equivalent. Okay. Generally in uh, electronics, we use C equivalent. Word, okay. This becomes C equivalent. So I can write one upon C equivalent equals to one upon C1 plus one upon C2 plus one upon C3. This become one by Cn. Okay. So this is my equivalent capacitor and they are in series. When you are resistance, then you have R1 plus R2 plus R3 here capacitor that is inverse or reverse of uh, resistance. When capacitor in series, you add them like a parallel resistance. Now you can do for capacitor parallel okay that also easy and capacitor are in at, added in parallel circuits okay so when capacitor are in parallel okay what you can write you have say capacitor say c1 say c2 say capacitor c3 say capacitor cn Okay, C and means you are putting some gap here and you're putting some capacitor here, say C N. Okay, and say you're applying current or voltage source, whatever you want. Suppose you're applying a voltage source here, that voltage will give you current here. Now they are parallel, so current division need to take care. So their current will go I1, this current is I2, this current is I3, and this current is In. Okay. Now I can write if total initial current is I, so I can apply current division. So current division say I equals to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus In. Okay. <coughs> and current through a capacitor is given by what? Voltage is same across. Voltage variation is same. This is Vt. Okay. This is Vt. Voltage variation is same across these capacitors. So voltage variation is same. That means I can write 
now this is this is c1 dv by dt plus c2 dv by dt plus c3 dv by dt plus c n dv by dt so my i will be what c1 plus c2 plus c3 cn into dv by dt <coughs> now you can replace c1 plus c2 plus c3 by a equivalent capacitor so i can write my i become i become c equivalent dv upon dt okay and then i can write my c equivalent is in parallel is c2 plus c3 plus cn when capacitors are connected parallelly you can add them like serially to doing for resistances okay so i am stopping here okay we'll meet tomorrow with some other problem thank you very much okay thank you sir good night sir